Logan, everyone, it is Vince Shooter for Shooter Multimedia coming to you today once again from my hometown of Alton, Pennsylvania. And you know, it, normally by this point in the summer, I'm saying yes, once again from Alton. We're always in Alton, and Alton, Alton, Alton. But it hasn't been a very Alton heavy year this year. There's been other things going on. If you've seen my other videos, you know what some of those things were. And, uh, Reasons basically there were reasons, but we're gonna try and get back get back into the swing of things here as we head to the bucket brigade of bucks And if you have even the slightest inkling of checking it out with me, let's go Way to go. 
star was there. <laughs> you must have a super side of this party. Right?
started, Jim Reynolds is going to show you a little trip down memory lane. <laughs>
We still have some tickets or chances available for the two bicycles. They're raffling off to support the Freedom Fighter Memorial that is over here on the left side of the stage, right side to you. And, uh, you know, like I said, Mark Zinsky, local guy here, George and Kim Atkinson have devoted their life to getting this mock-up here that, that has been built and turned into a stainless steel monument that will be placed here in all of it. Ticket number 054, Lawrence Benzico from Milford, Pennsylvania. Like I said before, there's more chances available for the bicycles that will be raffled off in about 15 minutes. So how about the music tonight? It's pretty good, huh? These guys did a fine job, and we're not letting them go, because guess what? As long as I'm on the mic, they got to play. <laughs> no, these guys are a great bunch of guys. Take three. Now what happens if you get one more guy? You'd be taking four. That won't happen, Jerry. Do the budget Where's cuts. The, the budget cuts. There's a raffle for the bikes, did he say? Um, oh, he said on the right side of my maybe. Well, that's where the... That's Ticket where the number is. five, six, the three. I'm not sure if that's where the raffles themselves are. Rob Hades from Dixon City, Pennsylvania. How many more $660 tickets we got? We got 10 more. At six hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, when we get done pulling all the six hundred and sixty dollar winner winning tickets, which we have ten more. You people want to go right to the top and whack number one? Okay. What we'll do is we're gonna finish these up and then we start with the big dollars. Ticket number 400, Helene Lieback from Duryea, Pennsylvania. yourself certainly at a boy you guys I like you guys you're programmable <laughs> you guys would like the CD just press the button in your case we have to talk nice that's all our button is a picture of beer what a picture of beer <laughs> I, be, I bet you I know a guy that'll get you another one. Oh, oh okay because I could have one here in about one minute Thank you. I know, guys. Okay, I gotta get back here. Four seventy. Next six hundred sixty dollar winner. Ed Homentoski from Peckville, Pennsylvania. Seems like all the winners didn't show up tonight. It's like, are they a day late? Pennsylvania.
number three, 21, Connie Daniels from Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Are you Connie or are you just clapping? Oh, okay. Well, then we, we can, like, that's okay. I thought you were the lucky lady. Jared needs a smooch, you know what I mean? Gentile from Dunmore, Pennsylvania. How many people were praying that no rain today? Had to be a lot because it didn't rain yet. Somebody is listening. Teen is the ticket number. Lee Maslowski from Oliphant, Pennsylvania. We have two more tickets for $660, and then we get to the big bucks. One year I stood here, we got to two, and I said, I think we'll wait to do number one. I didn't think there could be that many angry people congregated at one time. It was almost a noose up here. Zero four five, Andrew Leister, Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. Prize number five, one more ticket for six hundred and sixty dollars. the winners finally on this stage. Congratulations, Andrew Leister. Grandson. Oh, grandson, okay. This thing is glitching on me with it, so when you turn it off and hear it on again, and the batteries are going to stop batteries. Okay, remember, I just announced the winner. I don't pull any tickets. I don't touch the ticket. So if anybody... 9,000 some odd dollars here coming up. Because I've changed the batteries. You've got to avoid any glitches. Ticket number 1030. Ross Jacobino from Jessup, Pennsylvania for $9,783. Nobody from Ross's clan is here? I don't believe this. I'll claim it. <laughs> we have one fellow that says, I'll claim it at a point. 
I think he works for Pisanchin Law Firm. Okay, the number three ticket's being pulled now. It's $13,207. Okay. Do you know people aren't breathing while you're pulling that ticket? You're making people not breathe. You're gonna have to be doing CPR out there. Seven oh eight. James Mugaroski, East Scott Street, all from Pennsylvania. Thirteen thousand two hundred and seven dollars. The second prize, which is coming out now, is just a mere nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty-six dollars. How come there's no cents on these if it's a percentage? <laughs> You're having entirely too much fun doing this. Do you know how many people will be unhappy with you when you pull the number one prize? <laughs> Probably. 3,999 of the people of the 4,000 that are here. It's not my fault, I'm just reading, you're pulling. Okay, number two is 840, Jerry Lyford from Oliphant, Pennsylvania. 19,566 dollars. For your pleasure, the number one ticket for only $33,262. You're gonna wear that thing out twisting that around like that. Remember, none of us pull the ticket. She does, she does, she does. Okay, you could all start breathing. She did say it is the winner. Here we go. Ticket number 608. Alexander Pila from Blakely, Pennsylvania. Is Al here? Oh, no. $33,262. Once again, on behalf of Excelsior Host Company, I thank all of you for participating tonight in another very, very fabulous Bucket Brigade of Bucks. You people make it great, and here comes my girlfriend, Kim. Did you pull the ticket yet? Oh, oh no. Okay, and we have the 50-50 winner. They're going to be pulling that, Karen told me. So remember, if you're waiting for the 50-50, the girl in the green shirt right there said it'll be right here. Okay, we have two bicycles that we're giving away as a fundraiser for the memorial that this young lady has taken upon herself with her husband he must really love you, because he does everything you ask him to do. George is a great guy. I've known George since we were kids. He used to be in trouble a lot. Okay, she wants me to pull the winning ticket for the boys' bike, right? So this one is your fault. Okay, the boys' bike, Mary Lou DeAngelis. Oh, okay. I mean, you're giggling here like you want it. That, what are you going to do with that? You're going to have to have another baby. 
Okay, Mary Lou DeAngelis is the winner of the boy, the boy's bike. Put that in your pocket. Do you know how many hands touch that ticket you just put in your mouth? We have to think clean here. And the girl's bike is, I'll take this off the bottom. It is, okay, okay, here's how this goes. It says O-N-D-A. Who could that possibly be? Me. Oh my God. The young lady to my left. <laughs> it's not you? Oh, okay, your mother and father gonna ride the girl's bike? Okay, well, your dad's a great guy and your mom's a sweetheart. Okay, and they still have shirts promoting the, the memorial, they're trying to gender the freedom fighter, the memorial, the memorial that they're putting together to be exhibited. It's the only one in the whole United States. And when it is dedicated, when it comes back, it will be brushed stainless steel, unlike the bronze that turns brown and black and stuff. It's gonna be brushed stainless steel. We are trying to get it set up right in front of me here. So when you come through town, whether you be coming from Troop, Blakely Dixon, you will see the freedom fighter there. Once again, it is a memorial honoring the people who have kept the United States as free as we are today. The only thing you have to watch is your language. And that's why I didn't have any beer tonight, because I don't want to slip and say anything bad. Maybe a little one, but no, I wouldn't do that. Karen, I'm waiting for the 50-50, sweetheart. So is 4,000 people. <laughs> Does the fabulous Take Three want to start singing? Okay. These guys are willing to please you people. And uh, like I said, wonderful bunch of guys playing absolutely fabulous music. Even though they don't know the words to some of my favorites, we can overlook that, but next year you'll know them. We're gonna practice starting after Christmas. <laughs> hey, practice at your garage. Okay. guys can't thank the town of elephant enough for being so nice to us especially the guy bringing us the beer on me that's wow. right thanks to ollie and my uh my great uncle used to have a shoemaker shop right over there oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> shoemaker my great uncle yeah how about that well, right now we have a song for you by the who who
a town where people don't know how to have fun. I can guarantee you that if you come to Oliphant, you'll find a place where people know how to relax, stand around the street and have a good time. Not, not when, the, not when the, the traffic's not closed, of course. You don't just stand in the middle of the street because you'll get run over. We're smart enough for that, but I mean, you know, it's definitely we don't have a good time here. Behind me, you see a whole bunch of people. Hey! Oh, <laughs> who slapped that ass? Somebody lucky. That was me. <laughs> And no, I'm not paying them for that. That's just how it happens here in Oliphant, Pennsylvania. Yeah. I bet you to forget a multimedia. <laughs> <Have a good. laughs> yeah, didn't expect that one. Didn't see that. No, nope, didn't see that coming today. When I got up this morning, I thought, you know, I didn't think to myself, some some guy's gonna walk past and slap me on the rear end. Nope, nope, I didn't see that coming at all. But here at Oliphant, anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Big shooter for shooting multimedia. Have a great day, everybody.